We're going to be looking at e-signature for Google Docs and Google Drive. Here I have a sample contract, just a mock-up to illustrate what we're going to do. Down the bottom is where we're going to insert the signature fields. We can uh, get the signature from one to ten people. All we need is an email address for each person. So I begin by clicking on insert, come down to e-signature fields, click on that. The pop-up comes up in the right hand side. And here we've got insert fields for signer one. Fillable fields, signature, initial and name, and auto-filled fields, date signed. Click on the drop-down. Is sign one, only one person. We need two. I'm going to change the name, so I click on manage signers. Change that to owner. Click on add another signer. Four for the second signer and click save. And now, if I click on the drop down, you see two which has a different color. So, click on the owner, click and drag the signature like that for the owner. I'm not going to use the initial, click and drag the name, drag the sign. If we don't want to click and drag, we can click where we want the signature, choose contractor, Click name, get signed. There we go. Now we need to create the PDF that's going to be sent to the owner and the contractor. So I click on request e signature. There's the name of the document that's going to be called. Owner, we need an email address for that. Paste that in. A contractor email address. Paste that in. And then enter a message. It says, once requested, a PDF of this doc will be created and shared with the recipient to sign. Then it's got a note about the visibility of my email address. You'll see that I'm actually sending from that email address to the other two. So now I request the e-signature. Right, that's the addresses it's gone to. It's saying that they're external to Tradypad, they're outside of our organization, so this is the usual Google warning, but we say share anyway. That's creating the PDF. That's the name of the document. The signature request has been sent to each of those signatories. I click OK. Now what we'll do Let's go to each of those accounts. Go to the owner. <coughs> this is inbox. There's the email. Just arrived. Click on open. opens up the PDF, see it in all its glory, I click on sign, you notice I can't put anything in that side under the contractor, it's only the owner that I can use it for. And we need the initials. Adopt that and sign. 
right there, the intro fill. Once we're finished, we can mark complete. <clears throat> it sets out some terms of service for the e-signature by Google. Click on red. Click agree and continue. And we finished our part. Go to contractor's email. This screen, the document, you can see that the uh, owner has already signed, sign the contractor, just put in chap's name, Opt and sign. There to bring in the name. Mark is complete. Go through the same steps as before. Close the window. Right. Now, in either that account, that account, or the trading bad account, we should all get an email. Once come in, there it is. Maximize the full screen. The document. And there we have it. Signed by both parties. And we've got an audit trail telling us the process that it went through, the date and the time that it happened. Back. If I look in Google Drive. It's the copy in Google Drive. And we'll pop into the other account as well. Yeah. That. Open it up. See the same. Exact the same document. Google Drive. Just there. They are copies. Is the email that went to Trading Pad. You get Trading Pad. It's the same again. Same copy. So, the signature is available in Google Workspace Business Standard and higher subscriptions. It's not available in Google Workspace Business Staff.